Good afternoon world from Villa to Lua. Story is enjoying some seaweed cracklings. This is your favourite snack, isn't it? They are nice. Yeah, they're delicious. They're very Moorish. Mm, so wow. much so that I actually bought two packets because I knew this was going to happen. Story's about to get changed into her swimming gear because we haven't even tried out the pool yet. We've been here for several hours. We're waiting for the swimming pool to do its thing, get clean. They're running some salt through it. And we're also waiting for a delivery of coconut keto vegan chocolate cups which are kind of like bounty cups we actually took some of those over to Mindanao when we did our little trip I'm really looking forward to seeing if this floating device works I've never used one before you see them on social media posts all the time people chilling out in the pool with like a like a drifting boat full of food it is a beautiful afternoon I can see that golden afternoon light is coming we've got some tunes playing gonna be a nice night I think it's starting to get a bit cooler as well this is so beautiful imagine this was your home that story is just about to get in the pool over there wow how's it feel Can you give me a swimming pool review story? How deep is it? Where's the deepest <laughs> bit? Is it deep everywhere? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think our chocolate cup's just arrived. I heard a motorbike. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Very special delivery. Oh, there's a little message on here. It says, to the beautiful family eight miles from home, enjoy these healthy, sweet, vegan treats. Thank you for the repeat order, the Mad Hatter and Tipsy Parrot. So this lady produces all kind of fancy desserts, but I think she's planning on opening her own restaurant soon. So when that opens, we'll definitely go and see it. And lovingly, she just said, because we're celebrating our anniversary, she's gonna drop off some cranberry muffins tomorrow morning. So that'll be breakfast. There she goes, back off into the jungle. Wow, check these out, shining in the light there. Let's show the family. Have you seen these yummy yums? Oh wow, look at that delivery that we just got. Look, story, look. Delicious coconut, dark chocolate oh, cups, nice. peanut butter cups. They look yeah. amazing, don't they? Close up. Ooh, are they the coconut ones? Coconut and the peanut butter, <laughs> not in the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> We just picked up some kombucha from Vinta. It's got a little blueberry in it, this one. Recently, there's been a lot of new products being developed for the islands. This is Vinta's new Philippines made kombucha. It's even got the GPS coordinates of where it was brewed and batched, which is pretty cool. I love that. Okay, time to test this out, see if it actually works. I'm worried because there's a lot of good stuff on here. <laughs> I'm gonna send some snacks over, okay? On the boat. Maybe you need to intercept it, but don't let it tip over because there's drinks on here too, okay? And then you can enjoy it in the pool, hopefully. I think that, I don't actually know, it might be coconut or peanut, it's a surprise. It's a surprise. So inside that chocolate is either coconut um, shreds or peanut butter. What do you think? <laughs> no, you, have to, you have to bite deep into it, you can't just lick the side. It's hard, this chocolate's hard, it's right. cold. Mmm, <laughs> peanut butter! Mmm, yummy! Are they both the same? Yeah. Ah, so those are the peanut butters. And we've got some blueberry kombucha as well, Story. Enjoy! And when you're done with that, there's some water as well. I have to keep reminding myself. There's a step there. My turn. This is one of those places that's so nice you don't really want to leave. So we are going to order dinner in tonight and have our anniversary meal here by this massive table here. You couldn't really get a better setting in a restaurant anyway. This is delicious. It's evening time now. Story and I are watching a little film together in the bedroom while we're waiting for our dinner to arrive. We have pizza. Got pizza coming, haven't we? Look at this amazing bed setup you've got here. Is that all for you? You're gonna sleep in this whole bed, yeah? Yeah, and then we're going round to go on each pillow to see what's done. Yeah, try out every pillow, yeah? 
they're actually having a bit of a problem with the water supply here. So Sasha and Story haven't had a chance to have a wash yet. You're still waiting for your shower, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> Looks like I'm having dinner in my swimwear. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we just have to wait it out. Food should be here soon. Did I just hear the water come back on? Yeah, yeah baby! Food and water all at once! Food and water, life's essentials. Well, I'll shower after dinner now though. Yeah, food's too good for us. Oh no, what have you done, Story? Don't lose the fries. What's that? Fries! We've just finished our lovely dinner. The pizza was really nice. I've had my shower, as you can see, hence the wet hair. We are just kind of chilling out now for the evening. We're letting Story stay up a little bit later. She would normally have been asleep for like an hour if we were at home already, but she has requested to go and play a game on my phone. She's doing one of her apps on my phone. So that is what Story's doing. Look, I'll show you. It's quite nice having this like open plan living because I can just sneak around the corner here. And who do we see sitting over there? <laughs> she actually asked to go and sit in that specific chair. I was like, why don't you come and sit over here in the lounge area and get cosy in the cushions? She said, no, actually, mum, I want to go and sit in the bedroom, in the chair, in the corner. I said, okay, you do that. <laughs> We've all just had a little bit of chocolate as well. This is the Theophilo chocolate, really nice dark chocolate, sesame and nuts. Still we had some for her dessert as well. Jay went and got the nighttime camera. We are gonna switch to that one and go and sit over there. All right, let's see what you can see and we will switch. The stars are visible out here. Actually, I can see more in the camera than I can with my eyes right now. I'm gonna have to turn off all of these lights so we can see properly. Here we go. Can you see in the dark? Yeah. I'm using night vision. No, I'm not see anything. <laughs> Got the phone light, making my way to the end of the garden where there should be some wine waiting for me. Hope it hasn't got full of ants. Make sure it hasn't uh, been compromised by the wildlife. It's a situation. We're all right. Yeah? Yeah, let's have a look up at the stars. Ant free you take that, and I'll look up. Whoa, check it out. Let it focus. This is nice. I've got a good view, but Sasha has got too much brolly in the way. <laughs> it's like your uh, sunshade has now become a star shade. You need to get rid of it. This is the most amount of stars I've seen in a long time. Though. Yeah, we haven't had clear skies no. like this for a while, have we? No, not at all. It's nice to be able to see them like that. Yeah. Stories over there in that room. Yeah, even though they are three bedrooms here we are all gonna sleep in one bedroom yeah <laughs> I feel like the other bedroom is too far away from where me and Jay would sleep so still is gonna sleep in with us I've got absolutely no idea how much of this footage we'll be able to see I'm struggling to kind of find a balance between focusing on stars and <laughs> focusing on faces but it is nice to be able to capture at least some of what we're experiencing mm. out here right now I try to set the camera to show what our eye sees rather than, you know, like digitally enhancing what the camera can see. So looking at the stars now with the phone light on a little bit, you can see this is pretty much exactly what's in my eye right now. This is what we can see. At about what time, Sash, would you say it is now? <laughs> 10 past 8. 10 past 8, my goodness. I feel like we've been going to bed much earlier since we went on our trip yeah. because when we were at some of our spots we didn't have any internet or we couldn't do any editing because there was no power or there were problems along the way yeah. and we got used to just like going to bed when the sun went in and that was like sometimes 6 30. no we never went to bed at 6 30. well there was one day that june june jumped into bed at 6 30 oh, and he tried to go to sleep and was, was like so why am i not tired there was one night though that we were all in bed and pretty much fast asleep by 8 30. yeah that was when we were in claveria i yeah. think camping essentially yeah it's nice because it makes you feel fresh in the morning when you wake up to see the sunrise and you get up with the day and you feel like you're kind of in tune with the earth a little bit. Mm -hmm. But when you come home and you have to use those late hours to work, you don't yeah. do this as often. No, so 10 past 8, being outside in a garden, 
looking at the stars is rather nice. It's this something is... we, we wouldn't be doing at home. No. We would be sitting down watching Netflix by now, wouldn't yeah. we? Look who came to join us. Hmm? You couldn't stay asleep for long, could you? I couldn't stay for there for long. No? <laughs> you feeling lonely? Yeah, I was feeling a bit lonely there, so that's why I came out to join you. Mm. Mm, it's nice to join us. You can see some of the starlight now. It's just got mm. dark, so we can have a look up at the sky. Mm, we just Wait. saw... What did we just see? A bat and a firefly. Really? Yeah. And lightning. Yeah. Well, and that's lightning. nice. It's a little bit of a camping experience, isn't it? <laughs> lightning and thunder. Is that the lightning and thunder song? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? It's like a rain dance, <laughs> trying to will it to thunder again. I can't see any flashes now. Let <laughs> me <laughs> try run there. Story, story's doing shadow puppets. Let <laughs> me try run there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it looks scary like this. Brown there is Spanish, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a big brown there. Goodness me. Yeah, I think it's about time somebody went to bed, eh? <laughs> oh my goodness, you... I'm bearded! Oh, look how big I am! Oh no. Oh no, I've got a massive giant story. <laughs> <laughs> the story is entertaining herself doing shadow puppets <laughs> and we're going to take her to bed. Oh, yes. I've enjoyed my night. It's been nice sitting out under the stars. It does. I'm looking forward to another day here. Yeah, very much so. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.